this is Texas, isn't it, stranger? Has been for some time. Uh, I must be getting closer to Border City, then. You go on down the road till you come to Big Sycamore Tree down there. Then you turn left. Uh -huh. How far is it? Oh, no more than five or six hundred miles. Oh, thanks very, very much. Thank you. Ortiz is badly wounded. Perhaps we should leave him at the next ranch. Burn! Sorry. I... This is a safe place to keep your money. Hey, Ranger. Howdy, Slim. Ranger. Uh, uh, pardon me. Are, are you the sheriff or, or something like that? Yeah, something like that. Well, uh, uh, sir, I have a complaint to make. Complaint? Yes, sir. Last night in this town, there were a lot of men shooting guns, and they put and wrecked my wagon, and I almost got shot. Where? Where? All over. That's where. Broke your buckboard, huh? Yes. Sir. That's too bad. Go get yourself some water, Sonny. Partner broke my wagon, and... Hey, that's a pretty good trick. I'd like to buy a horse like that and trade in this outfit of mine. Oh, uh, Sonny's not for sale. You better see Boots Crawley. Boots Crawley? Who's he? He runs the livery stable down the street. Oh, good. But you won't find him there. During business hours, he's generally in the saloon. Hi, Joe. Hello, Hank. They're waiting for you inside. Yeah, who's they? Captain of the Mexican Council. Uh, sort of figured. Oh, this is the fifth time he's crossed over the border in the last five months. He brings a big gang of men, hits one of these small towns back over the border before half the town can get his pants on. Nelson's the 12th man he's killed. About time somebody did something about it. Hi. Don't look at me. Howdy, Senor Munoz. Senor Walter. The Mexican government has sent troops twice against El Tigre and his bandits. They just fade away into the mountains. 
Since then, we've sent three of the best men in the Mexican Secret Service. They disappear. Finally, we sent Colonel Sanchez, the chief of the Bureau. You hear that, Joe? You'd have help. What happened to Colonel Sanchez? He hasn't been heard from. I'd need help. You plan to send Senor Water in alone? Yeah? I'm planning to visit my sister in St. Louis. Oh, now, now. Joe Water's my best and most experienced ranger. If you fix up the government technicalities, he'll get LT Gray. Joe don't know the meaning of fear. Oh, now, that's a lot of bull, Captain. I'm not something big out of one of Beatles' nickel and dime novels. You come here. Where? Now, those are the San Clementes, mm -hmm. 50 miles from here to the foothills. Another 10 miles into the heart of the mountains is the village of San Clemente. Yeah. Full of the toughest thugs and riffraff from both countries. I know. I know. I've been there. And they know me. Well, Joe, you'd have one advantage. What do you want me to do? Pick up the tiger in my saddlebag and ride him gently back here? Well, I'd be so full of holes you could take his picture through me. No, just get yourself back here alive. The rewards don't say nothing about him being alive, and they're good in both countries. The advantage the captain spoke of was this. We have learned till Tigre seldom comes into the town, only for raids. But he has a trusted lieutenant, an American, Senor O'More. Oh, I see, O'More. Well, that's nice. That's a great help. You want the lieutenant, too? No, I... My idea is that any countryman of yours who will sell himself to El Tigre might sell El Tigre to his countrymen. Am I under orders? Oh, no, Joe, no. I can't order you out of the country. You'd have to volunteer. Well, I couldn't volunteer. Not right now. Why not? Thirsty. Got to get me a drink. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh where'd you get that hat, Tyler? <laughs> okay. Where'd you go, son? Walk? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I could walk a lot better. <laughs> what ranch you from, yeah. Hey, some dude, eh? Say, did any of you fellas see that, that Boots, what's his name, sell me that horse and tell me he was broken in? Broken what? <laughs> broken in and gentle. Why, he took my money and my board buck. Took his board buck? Oh. Look, you're all witnesses. I'm going inside and bring him out here and make him eat his words. Stand back, I'll be out in a second. <laughs> 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 You're getting better. <laughs> I wish to goodness you wouldn't bother me, son, while I'm drinking. Put up your dukes. Come on, I'm ready. Ah, just a minute, son. I'm glad you stopped me, Sheriff. You boys are disturbing the peace. I ain't. He sold me a wild horse. Sally's a gentle horse, like a mother. A man should have some legal protection. Now, wait a minute. Maybe the horse needs some protection. I think Nellie's been broke to distrust a certain class of people. What do you Suppose mean? you try to get on her from this side. From this side? Yeah. She, she, she won't buck me again, will she? No, you just put your trust in the law, son. Well, uh, now hold her. Don't let her buck me. Again. Buck before. Well, what do you know? Come here, Sonny. Oh, now. You wouldn't like to trade horses, would you, Ranger? Uh-oh. Where I'm going, I'm liable to need, Sonny. Yeah. Well, I'll keep this one in. Ah. You wait here, Sonny. I'll bring you a glass of beer. Come on, folks. Crawley's by him. Huh? I won't ride down to the river with you, Joe. I might attract attention. Looks like we already attracted some. Yeah, that's bad. Well, anything more I can do for you, Joe? Other side of the border ain't much you can do, Captain. No. Oh, say. Keep it shiny, will you? Bye, Joe. Don't say that, Captain.
Get ready. This ain't him. How you know? Too young. What do we do? We don't want this fella. Jumped you. Fellas jumped me? What for? Don't you know? Look, mister, the only thing I ain't know around here is that no matter what happens, I fall off a horse. So, oh, ow, ow. Why would they want to jump me? Well, they probably got you mixed up with somebody else. Yeah, well, well, thanks anyway, mister. How come you were following me? Believe it or not, I was trying to find out which way was south. Now, which way you headed? A place called San Clemente. Ever heard of it? Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. Maybe I'll ride along with you for a piece. Oh, yeah. Sure wouldn't take you out of your way any? Not much. Uh, you seem to have a habit of getting mixed up with fellas who are bigger than you are. Fellas, not only fellas, but girls, too. Girls? Sure. I get all the big ones. There was a girl called Mary Martha McGuire. She... See what I mean? <laughs> Come here, Sonny. And then there was Peg. I guess she loved me more, a lot more than all the rest of them. But was she jealous? Oh, boy. All she had to do was see me looking at a picture of a girl in a magazine and wham. And when she landed, Joe, there was 195 pounds behind it. <laughs> well, it's getting too hot to travel. Let's rest here a while. Then I'll set you on a trail. I'm going a different way. My business is private. All right, Sonny. Go get yourself some water. Okay, Nellie, get yourself some water. No, not, not, not grass. Uh, water. Sleep? <laughs> I was just thinking if you should come into San Clemente while I'm there, I, I'd like you to meet my brother. You got a brother in San Clemente? Mm hmm. His name is Patrick. I haven't seen him for eight years. Runs a silver mine. Did your brother send for you? Not exactly. In fact, he told me not to come at all. I thought I'd go out and surprise him. He's been running the mine for eight years, huh? Ever since the second year, he's been sending money home every month. Wonderful presents to Mom, my sister. Well, I haven't been doing anything in New York, so I thought I'd go out and help him with a mine. He must be doing pretty well. Pretty well? Patrick, oh, he's the kind of a guy that always did everything better than anybody else. He's always the biggest, strongest, handsomest. <laughs> the pride of 10th Avenue. Uh, there's only one to a family like him, and I guess Patrick was it for the O'Moores. O'Moore? Yeah, here we've been riding along together and didn't even know each other's last name. My name is Jay Dennis O'Moore. <laughs> Joe Warder. Glad to know you, Joe. <laughs> you know, I may go along to San Clemente with you after all. Good, good. Oh, there she is, Denny. There's San Clemente. This is where we send all his mail to. Oh. That's on the other side of town, to the west. We'll ride around and wait till after dark to go in. This is kind of a tough town, Denny. Wait till you see the expression on Patrick O'Moore's face when he sees us. You? Yes? Muchachos? Gracias, señor.
Now, did you get him? No, senor. No? But the way it was, there were two of them. Two of them? Another ranger? No, senor. Just a boy. A kid. You see, senor? Why don't he be here? Tonight he should be. But the way it was... I'm not interested. Report to El Tigre. But I'd like it to explain, senor. Senor O'Moore said move on. Do you wish to discuss the matter? No, no senor. senor. Then move no. on. I suggest you let Berger go after water. You ought to be able to handle him. Yes, I can get him, all right? I'll give you your instructions later. Yes, sir. This may become a matter for El Tigre himself. How many men have you here? Ten or twelve. The next hour or so will be at the Casa Alvarado. Meanwhile, keep your eyes open for Senor Ward and his friend. I assume you will not wish to be disturbed at the home of the beautiful senorita? You assume wrong. Let me know the minute water arrives. Si, sí, senor. Hala. That will be all, thank you. There he is now. Please be careful, Carmelita. Remember, we are in trouble. I am in trouble. He does not want you, mama. Senor Patrick O'Moore. Senor. Senora. Senorita. You will excuse me. I will not excuse you. Carmelita. Please be seated, senor. Thank you. Would the senor like some chocolate? No, thank you. You stare at me. Perhaps Senor O'Moore does not know that in our country this is rude. Oh, yes, I know. But your daughter was rude to me. Why are you so crazy about me, Carmelita? I don't know. But I adore you. You have such a beautiful red nose. Carmelita. Drinking isn't one of my vices, Carmel. Maybe you are. Maybe there is something vicious about the way I like to stare at you. Maybe if your mother weren't here, I'd tell you what an unholy desire I had to lock that small body of yours in... Senor! In holy matrimony. In fact, I've been talking to the Padre. I'm sure he did not give you absolution. It is not wine I see on your nose, Senor Amor. It is blood. You talk too much, Carmelita. I won't like that in a wife. Your father and his interests got along all right with me till the day he died. My father died of acute indigestion. His heart could not digest you. And El Tigre. Some people would say... Some people would say his daughter and I could go a long way in this part of Mexico. And we will. I don't ask for things, Carmel. Not even from El Tigre? We have his blessing. Then why do you ask to marry me? Why don't you take me? Like a bag of silver. Like a girl from the market. Maybe I will. Is this number seven, Buena Vista? I'm looking for a senior Patrick O'Moore. Patrick O'Moore! This is number seven, isn't it? Not here. Nobody knows him. Not here? I've been writing to him here for years. Go away. 
Go away. Joe, did you hear what this guy says? He wants me to go away. I say you go away. You pull a shiv on me and I'll break your... Denny, don't break anything just yet. Well, Joe, I've come 3,000 miles to see my brother. I'm not going to be stopped the last 10 feet. How I know you are his brother. Oh. How would I know this address? How would I know where to send his mail? Who would have who'd have showed me this place? Hello. Hello. Now, you see, Joe? 195 pounds if she's... Easy, Denny. You go to Casa Contreras on the other side of town. Why do you talk? He's cute. Casa Contreras, huh? Well, which is gracias. Look, if you'd have told us that in the first place, you'd have saved an awful lot of time. Uh, gracias, amigo, senorita. <laughs> Come on, Denny. This brother of yours seems to be right well known around here. Well, he hears about this caretaker. He'll fix him. Joe, you want to come in for a minute and meet him? You don't have to stay long. No, not tonight, son. I'll drop by in the morning, maybe. You go on in. I'll see you later, cowboy. Uh, si, I'm looking for Mr. Patrick O'Moore. Does he live here? Hey, well, well, don't close the door on me. We... Well, that's better. No, by this time, the Senor Amor is not interested in excuses. Sometimes I wonder what makes you men so stupid. Well, Capitan, the little man said he was his brother. How am I going to know? No matter who the man said he was, you had no right to give this address. What's wrong? I come quick. I tell you, you'll catch him. 
What did you want? The man that was with him. The man that was with him was obviously Warder, the ranger. And that's the matter that calls for an explanation. There is the senor. Now you'll catch it. Were you told to keep your mouth shut or not? Si, senor. I always keep my mouth shut. It, it was my sister, the fat one. What can I do? He says he's your brother. Says he's my brother? Si, senor. I don't say anything otherwise. If he says he's your brother, what can I do? What do he look like? Well, he's young, he's short, but very tough, senor. Right away, he wants to fight. Why'd he come to you? Not to me, senor. To the house, where the letters come. Yeah. Wait a minute, lay off me! Where's he now? Patrick, it's made Danny! Patrick! It's made Danny, look! Look what they've done to me, they put handcuffs on me! Tell these guys to get him off! Patrick! Patrick! You seem to have made a mistake, mister. I haven't made any mistake. Uh, I know that voice any place. Patrick, I know you're here. What have they done to you? They do the same thing to you as they did to me? Wait a minute, lay off me! Will you please? Look, you hurt my brother and I'll kick your brains out! Send him away back to the border. Send a couple of men with him. Si, sí, senor. Tell them not to hurt him. And warn him he's not to try to come back unless he wants to get into serious trouble. Get started. Now, right away. Si, sí, senor. To satisfy your curiosity, I have no brother. Si, sí, senor. Sit down. Please, senor. Please. You are told not to talk oh, to anybody. Please. Don't forget it again. <laughs> now, get out. So, you were going to take care of Senor Water. Where is he now? They'll find him, believe me, senor. I've got 20 men covering the town this time. All right, you fathead, listen again. This is a dangerous man we're after. If you let him get within 500 yards of El Tigre, don't bother to come back later with any excuses. I'll get him, senor. Shut that door and wait below. Si, senor. If he's not back by 10 o'clock, call me. Damn noises. Where's your Texas badge? I left it down the drugstore. Wouldn't do you any good here anyway. Gonna arrest somebody? Shoot somebody? How do you think you'd ever get out of here? I was thinking you'd take me out. Talk nicely to them fellas. Tell them we're gonna go see El Tigre. There are 20 men around this house. They work for El Tigre, not for me. They've got a certain respect for you, mister, and so have I. I'm not going out of here with a bag over my head like your little brother. Listen, Water, you're a man. He's a kid. I sent him back where he's safe. From you? From me. I'm a businessman. I came down here to run a silver mine. Like everybody else, I was robbed blind by every little bandit in these mountains. And I... Then I found El Tigre. A tiger. There are no more little bandits now. You found him and hooked up with him. Your head's in his mouth. Can I make certain arrangements for him? Yes. In return, I get protection. So this is Danny's wonderful brother. A fixer for a murdering Indian. You wouldn't call him that to his face. Sure, he's a savage. But kings have been savages, too. He's a guy... Don't move your hands. Maybe he could use a man like you, Water. Or are you happy in what you're doing? You could use me. I just keep very quiet and listen. You help me get that fella. You can get out of this hellhole. Spend your money on Broadway in New York. Or are you happy in what you're doing? What protection can you offer me? What protection can you offer me? Suppose I let you get out of this house. Meet me at the cantina in 10 minutes. Where's the cantina? Just down the street there. Get up out of that chair, mister. 
Get over there between me and the door. Right. From now on, if I don't get a streetcar, I'm gonna walk. Come on, Denny, we're temporarily dismounted. Hey, wait a minute, Joe. You're gonna go back for more? I'm going back for a fella named El Tigre. I want this town completely sealed in. 10,000 petals for the man who brings these gringos in alive. Pablo, cover the north road. Pancho, the south. news coming to you, cowboy. What do you mean I got some burden? This is it. I used to know this fellow, the barber. He'll back up what I'm going to tell you. This is about the last honest man left in San Clemente. San Clemente. Let's get out of here, Joe. This guy's dead as a mackerel. I can't get used to him. Tied up in that blanket, 
I was as close to El Tigre as his right-hand man. You were? His right-hand man was the old pride of 10th Avenue. Patrick? I, I, I don't believe it. But I saw him, Denny. I talked to him. That was his voice you heard, all right. If you give yourself up, he'll see that you get back safe. He doesn't want to kill you. But you're never going to see him again. So what do you want to do? I want to get these things off, Kel. Come on. Good evening, senor. Getting in a little time and a half, huh? Is there a law against it? Yeah. I hope not, because I've got a little job I want you to do. Where's the other one? What other one? The other gringo, the one with the handcuffs. Who said there was another one with handcuffs? Everybody, senor. Everybody in San Clemente. When El Tigre and Mr. O'Mara speaks, everybody in San Clemente listens. And they have spoken tonight of you. Well, that being the case, we better put the cards right on the table. Come here, Denny. We've got to get these cuffs off, mister. And it looks to me like you're elected. I'm afraid I don't do business at the point of a gun, senor. You're going to do business the way I tell you to tonight, partner. Go ahead. But just remember, at the sound of that gun, there will be 50 men here in 50 seconds. Each of them interested in collecting 10,000 pesos reward for you. 10,000 pesos for me? How much for me? The same, senor. Come on, Joe, let's take our business elsewhere. Wait a minute. How do you do business, partner? Put that gun down and I will tell you. Joe? Let's take a chance. Now, come here. What? Come here. You want those cops off, don't you? Sure, I want them off, but I don't, I don't want my head to be taken off with them. Now hold very still. Wait, 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 wait a minute. All right. Be careful. Ah. Ah. That's fine, but I still rattle when I eat. Wait a minute. Put it down there. Oh, be careful now, will you? Ow. Ow. There it is. That's fine. Now the other one. Easy now. Come on, hurry it up, hurry it up. Ow! Gringos this evening. Get out of my light, you ox. Be a little careful how you talk, Ortiz. Then tell him to not to get between me and my light. Look, senor. So you lied, eh? You cut these irons off a gringo? Where did they go? They didn't tell me and I didn't ask. Look in the corners. There's the street out there. Look in it. Here's the stables yard. Well, there, that's the horses and mules. Maybe they can tell you where they went. Go ahead, take a look. about this letter. Yeah.
It's Major Hart with you, Ortiz. I know it. What's here? This, senor. Who are you? Enrique Ortiz, father of Pedro Ortiz. His son was killed during the last raid. My son was shot by a black hearted swine and murderer who calls himself a tigre. You're not entirely out of danger yourself, my friend. On the contrary, senor. There is nothing whatever you can do to me. When my son died, I died. Keep him here. Well, he's not here, senor. Did you try the hay racks? Si, senor. What about this? Not possibly. Give it. Come on. Now, senores. Come in. Maria, get some food and coffee. Si, senor. Let's have a look at that arm, Denny. Yeah. I think it's all right, Joe. Well, it's beginning to bleed a little bit. I got some oil and bandages. Thank you. Is it hurt, kid? It's beginning to throb. I don't know what this stuff is, cowboy, so hang on. Ow! Ooh, ow, 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 it burns. Ooh, it burns, whatever it is. Uh, it's not very deep. Just nick the flesh. Whatever it nick, it's burning. Say, Mr. Blacksmith. Yeah? I was listening to you out there. You sure got a lot of nerve, partner. Ain't you scared of nobody? Well, to be scared, you must fear that. Joe, I can't get it through my head. Pat, he's not this kind of a guy at all. He's not mean, believe me, I know him. Something awful must have happened, and he can't get himself out of it. Maybe. Senores? How about some food? Uh, food? No, thanks. No, I... Oh, if I could only talk to him alone, I know I could get him to listen to me. Senor, besides the Tigre, there's only one person in the world Senor Omar might listen to. Who is this? The woman he's in love with. In love with? Who is she? The most beautiful senorita in San Clemente, Carmen Alvarado. Carmel Alvarado. Have you ever seen her? Yes, I have seen her. My son, Pedro, used to look at her with big eyes. But he was only a blacksmith, son. Is she a big girl? No. She's small and delicate. Your brother has a good taste, anyhow. Denny, how about some coffee? No, no thanks, Joe. I, I, I don't care for anything to drink. I feel... You know, Say, you haven't got a place that I could lie down for a little while, have you? Yeah. Maria, take this man up to my son's room. Si, senor. Hey, senor. Yeah? You ever see this Mr. El Tigre yourself? No. Thank you. Gracias.
You know, the way I figure it, the best way we can thank you for what you've done is to clear out of here before some of them hobgoblins come calling on us. Oh, you're welcome to stay long as you want. I'm not afraid of them. Man, you, you've got one slight advantage on me. You don't mind being killed. I, I, I think I know what you mean. Uh, in, in other, it's on the same road. Si, sí, senor. But you waste your time. Senorita Alvarado has already been spoken for. Oh, I only want to speak to her on a little business. <laughs> Perhaps after your business is through, you'll come back this way again? Well, I... I, uh, I wouldn't count on it. Uh, muchas gracias, senorita. I could meet you at... Come Federico. Senorita, it is a ghost. A ghost? What ghost? Oh, let me see. It is Pedro Ortiz. See? Si. But you told me he was dead. It is true. El tigre shot him in the heart. Senorita, go to bed. My name is Denny. Dennis O'Moore. O'Moore? Yeah, look, if you're not going to come down, I'm going to climb up there and talk to you. No, 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 no. I will come down there. You, you wait a minute. Get out of sight. I'll see you. Senor Ambo's brother? Yeah. It's difficult to believe, huh? Oh, well, maybe it's the clothes. Th th they aren't mine. I had to get them from the blacksmith's house. <laughs> you see, shh, shh. What is it you wish to say about your brother? Hey, you're, you're little, aren't you? I beg your pardon. Uh oh, I mean, you're, uh, uh, you're Parquito. Yeah, small, you know, small. Oh, well, see, <laughs> but you're not much taller than I am. I know, but I've been used to whoppers. Huh? Uh, big girls, big girls. Well, I've been out with some regular whales. <laughs> In fact, I've never even talked to a girl that was under six feet tall. Uh, you wish to talk about your brother? Yes, that's, that's why I, I, I wanted to talk to you, senorita, yes. Well, why did you come to me? Well, I'm in trouble, and I, I don't understand it. I, I thought maybe you could explain what all this means. Well, yes, but please be quiet. 
Cammy. What do you mean? Well, you see, Senorita. Patrick was the best thing in our family, the best thing on 10th Avenue, for that matter. The one we were always bragging about, the one we were always so proud of. You know what I mean, don't you? Yes, I, I hear what you are saying, but... Tonight, he almost killed me with that pitchfork. My own brother, why, you, you wouldn't have believed it. That I can believe. What did you say your name was? Denny, Dennis O'Moore. Oh. But you're so different from your brother. Oh, I never was much compared to Patrick. He was always tall and good-looking, and me, I Oh, was... but I didn't mean that. I, I was thinking of something else entirely. How much do you weigh? Oh, will you please stop measuring me? Oh. Well, you know, I... I feel better about Patrick already. How? Huh. Well, just knowing that a, a girl like you is in love with him. Oh, but you're wrong. I, I don't love him. Don't love him? Oh, no, I, I hate him. I'm afraid of him. He's... A... He's crazy. Patrick? Listen, senor, I am not a superstitious peasant girl, but I tell you an evil spirit has entered his soul. He is a... possessed. He's waiting. But maybe this fellow El Tigre has got something on him. Maybe Patrick got himself into trouble and, and this guy helped him out and he's got a hold on him and Patrick can't help himself. That's why I wanted to talk to you, to make him come back with me. To beg him to come back with me. Shh. Well, good evening. Good evening. You have a man in this garden. Where is he? I haven't the slightest intention of answering a question like that. You must be out of your mind. Patrick. Patrick, this is what I've been waiting for, a chance to talk to you. Well, what goes on here with you? Ah, ah. You devil! Go in the house, senorita. What are you going to do to him? You leave that to me, if you please. Uh, all right. I... Did you hear me? Get inside. Oh. All right. Those clothes aren't his. Take a look and see if you can identify them. They may give us a line on Mr. Water. This is worse than 10th Avenue. Better get going, son. Danny, it's time to... Were there any clothes in that room? Well, uh, there were some of my sons. Oh, then that's it. For a minute, I was wondering what he went out in. Who is it? Let me in quickly. It's here, Rita Alvarado. Let her in. Okay. Can you walk? Yes. Your friend Danny is in trouble. They're taking him to El Tigre. They... Who got him? Patrick? See, si. now they're looking for you. I heard them talking. Well, did Danny tell them anything? Not a word. He would have to. It was his son Pedro's good suit he was wearing. Oh, they'd know where he came from? Put out that light, senor. What do you think you can do? They're here. In here. And keep out of sight. They won't bother you. Give me that gun. But they're not after you. You stay clean. When I get upstairs, you go to the door with your hands up. Either you open up, senor, or I'll have to blow the lock off. Good evening, my friend. Where is senor Warder? Look for yourself. Upstairs, eh? All right, amigos. 10,000 pesos at the top of the stairs. Who is first? Why don't you send this donkey up? He is a fearless man. <laughs> Who wants to go? I'll go, Capitan. No, no, I have a...